वट इज मीटर इन साइंस स्टेट्स ऑफ मीटर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मीटर सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड गेट एक्सेस टू आर हंड्रेड ऑफ कंसेप्चुअल लेक्चर फॉर फ्री नो वट इज मीटर इन साइंस Let's consider a chair and a desk. This chair has some mass and volume. I mean this chair occupies some space, so this chair has volume. Also it has some well-known mass. Similarly, this desk has some mass and occupies some space. Hence it has some volume and it has some mass. According to this example, we can say that everything in the universe has some mass and volume. Either it is a chair or a desk or a car or a cell phone or a computer, etc. They all have masses and volumes. Thus, in science, we define matter as anything or any object occupying some space. means having some volume and has some mass is known as a matter this chair is a matter if i ask you why your answer is because it has some mass and has volume this desk is also a matter if i ask you why your answer will be because it has some mass and has some volume therefore remember that anything having volume and mass is known as a matter now what about states of matter well there are three states of matter solid liquid and gas i will discuss all these three states of matter solid liquid and gas firstly let me teach you about solid usually rigid objects are solids for example this curve the first property of solid objects are that they have a definite shape the shape of this cup is definite its shape doesn't change even if you carry it to the space its shape would remain the same secondly solids have definite volume for instance you can put specific amount of water a meter in this cup and its volume will also remain the same even if you carry it to the space or anywhere thirdly the molecules or atoms of the solids are closely packed together and uniform where there is a strong force of attraction between the molecules of solid if someone asks you why solids have definite shape and definite volume you answer should be there is a strong force of attraction between the molecules or atoms of solid due to this attractive force solids get definite shape and definite volume fourthly solids are incompressible again if someone asks you that why solids are incompressible your answer should be like this the atoms or molecules of solids are closely packed together there is no gap or empty space between the molecules of solids thus you cannot compress these molecules of solid and that's why we say that solids are incompressible therefore remember these four properties of solids solids have definite shape solids have definite volume molecules of solids are closely packed together and they are incompressible now let me teach you the second state of matter a liquid usually liquids are flowing for example water milk and honey the first property of liquid is that they have indefinite shape let consider 1 liter water in this beaker the shape of water or liquid in this object is rectangular now if i put this water in the flask its shape will be like trapezium similarly if i put this water in this flat object its shape will be like sphere or circular thus from this example we learn that the shape of liquid is changing therefore we say 
that the liquid has indefinite shape. Secondly, liquid has definite volume. Although the shape of liquid is changing while changing object for it, but the volume of liquid remains fixed or constant. For example, the volume of water in the beaker is 1 liter. When you put the liquid in this flask, again its volume is 1 liter. Similarly, the volume of water in this flat object is also 1 liter. Therefore, we say that liquids have definite volume and indefinite shape. Thirdly, the molecules of liquids are loosely packed together in non-uniform pattern. Molecules of liquids slide over each other. Here are two important questions which you should learn. The first question is that why liquids have indefinite shape but definite volume? The second question is that why liquids are mobile or why liquids flow? The answer of these both questions is same. The attraction force between the molecules of liquids is weak compared to solid. Due to this weak attraction force, molecules of liquid slide over each other. Hence, they flow or they are mobile. As a result, due to this sliding motion of molecules, liquids have indefinite shape. Fourthly, liquids are mobile. Fifthly, liquids are incompressible. Although the force of attraction between molecules of liquid is weak, but this force is enough to keep all the molecules of liquid together. As a result, there is no empty spaces or gaps between the molecules. No gaps or no empty spaces between the molecules means incompressibility. Hence, liquid are incompressible. Also, both the liquids and gases are known as a fluid because of their flowing property. Therefore, remember that the liquids have indefinite shape but definite volume. Liquid molecules are loosely packed together in non-uniform way. Liquids are mobile and liquids are incompressible. At last, let me teach you the third state of matter, a gas. Usually, gas is the invisible state of matter. For example, balloon filled with ammonia gas are the air surrounding us. The first property you should learn about gas is that gases have indefinite shape. Secondly, gases have also indefinite volume. For example, consider that suddenly this balloon bursts down. What happens to the ammonia gas in this balloon? Well, all the ammonia gas will escape from it and it will mix up with the air surrounding us. This both the ship and volume of ammonia gas changed. If you do not understand this example, let me give you one another example. Consider a closed cylinder with a movable piston. Let there are six molecules of gas in this closed cylinder. Remember that the gas molecules are free to move. Thus, thirdly, the force of attraction between gas molecules are very weak, or you can say negligible. Fourthly, gases are mobile, means they are freely moving. Fifthly, they are compressible. Now come to the main point. These six molecules of gas are freely moving within this cylinder. In this available space or in this available location. As I told you, that force of attraction between gas molecules are negligible. Hence, there is large gap or empty spaces between gas molecules. Now, when I exert downward force on this movable piston, it will force the gas molecules to condense together. Or uh, you can say that this downward force of piston will bring together all these six molecules of gas. Initially, both the shape and volume of gas was 
like this but due to external force of the piston both the shape and volume of gas changed that's why we say gases have indefinite shape and indefinite volume also gases are compressible due to gaps or empty spaces among molecules i am sure you may have heard the word cng its abbreviation is compressed natural gas it means the natural gas is compressed for commercial use this was all about what is matter in science three states of matter and their properties if you have learned something new in this video then like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual contents thank you very much for watching this video